To better illustrate Sumo's shifting plates, let's compare Tachikawa 2023 with Tachikawa 2022. That then was the main event which saw Takakesho pocket the cash on his 26th birthday. Those two men were also poster boys and plastic fanboys for this year, but hardly performed between them. The Yokozuna did this. <laughs> And this <laughs> But his training was limited to this And he did not fight in the exhibition Retirement's warm embrace beckons. Ozeki Takakesho, meanwhile, did not even travel as he desperately tries to nurse his knees back to fighting condition. The promo materials having been made long before Horshoryu's promotion, the third poster boy was the man who made Ozeki in May, Kirishima. He and Horshoryu go back a very long way and seem joined at the hip on tour. It was they who contested this year's headline bout. A flashy tribute to their judo club days, which fated the man announced to the crowd again and again as the new Ozeki. <laughs> which was slightly unfair to Kirishima, as it's his first Ozeki tour too. Last year's demoted Ozeki had just a minor role. Shodai did not train as far as I saw, and merely showed up for this.
Mitake Umi, chest lent a little, did his bout, but constantly turned down fan interaction. Six times he bypassed this waiting crowd as if it didn't exist. Last year, in fact, it really didn't exist due to COVID regulations. How ecstatic this year's hardcore fans were to see normal service resumed. Twenty twenty two saw Ichino Jo hailed as defending champion. Ironically, his big role then was amply filled by Wakamoto Haru this time. These two wrestlers fought the third from last bout in 2022. Neither was present this time though. There is no more Yutakayama to embody the meaning of sheer heart. There is no more Tochinoshin, of course replaced by a new Caucasian star. And no more Chiyo Tairyu to serve as Tokyo-born hero. He's now busy grilling meat and stocking Tochinoshin's Georgian wine. As with last year, Tsurugisho played the role of Tokyo-born photo idol, ably assisted by stablemate Hitoshi, who was born in Tachikawa. Also hailing from the neighborhood are Yurikisho, whose set piece harked back to Yutakayama, comic sumo actor Toji Mitsuru, born just three stations away. As Tachikawa borders Saitama, Hokuto Fuji can view this as pretty much home. His station is but five stops away. Finally though, a word of advice to our exhibitionists. Don't overdo the plot. Yurikisho, I strongly believe, was supposed to win this. But the stage directions were too hard to follow. Leaving local fans yet further crushed than they were by the stifling heat. <laughs>